Welcome to a yoga moment with Musalong. My name is Laura Erdman Lutz. In today's moment, we're going to look at Vrigsasin, or tree pose. In particular, how you can deepen your study of this pose. Let's first look at what you can do with the legs. In this pose, one leg comes up and ultimately is all the way up at the top of the other leg. Once you get the foot to the top of the other leg, you can gently press the foot into the leg, the leg into the foot, to create this really strong connection between the two. And then, root that down, so you're going to reach that down, that strength of that connection, down into your supporting foot, which creates a very stable tree pose. Now, the hands can be in one of two positions in this pose. Um, a beginner level is bringing the hands down in front of the chest. More advanced is to bring the arms up and overhead. Now, having said that, I will say I do have students who find arms overhead is actually easier than arms in front of the chest. So you may want to experiment with both of them. Plus, the feeling you get from each of them is different. So you may find one day it might be more appropriate for you to have your hands in front of the chest and another day arms overhead. If you have your hands in front of your chest, you want to gently press all ten fingers and the palms of the hands together evenly. So you're gently pressing them together and you will find that you will broaden across your chest as you press them together. If you're bringing your arms up and overhead, you want to make sure your arms are long and extended all the way up and over the, the head. People have a tendency to just let their arms begin to relax over the head, but if you do that, you lose that strong extension that you need in this pose to get the full energetic benefits. Remember, this is a treat. You want to feel like this is your root system, very grounded down into the ground. These are your branches reaching up towards the sun, so they're really extending strongly. Ultimately, the hands do come together in this pose, but only if you can do so without bending the elbows, because then again, you've lost that strong extension in the arms. Once the arms come up and overhead, and you're feeling that strong extension, you want to re-engage the foot into the leg, leg into the foot, and that grounding down into the leg. Get even stronger through the legs to counteract that reaching up with the arms. You get a really powerful rigsasa in this way. Thank you for joining me for a yoga moment with Musalan. I hope this helps you enjoy your rigsasa even more. Namaste.